Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be painting this 3D printed pilot for a project I'm currently working on, which is a P47 Thunderbolt from World War II. Um, I went out to Thingiverse, found a pilot that I really liked, met the era that I was looking for, so I printed him off. At the time, I didn't have my resin printer yet, so I used a, my TAS-5, which is an FDM printer, to print it off. So there were build lines, and of course, I had to remove all the supports. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of that, so this is uh, the pilot after I smoothed him out in acetone and, of course, removed all the supports, and I uh, used a white primer just to set up for my painting. So I started out with the flesh tone. Um, the collar uh, and flesh, the neck itself, was separate, so I wanted to get the flesh tone down first, and then I can touch up any... Um, over brushing or any paint that I might have gotten on the uniform. For his flight suit I went with a standard army green, olive green um, color for his flight suit. Everything I looked on, of course you know most of the paint, most of the pictures from World War II are black and white but you can find color stuff every once in a while and they kind of had a just a standard that army green fatigue color that they used for many years. This pilot didn't have the bomber jacket, so I didn't have to worry about the leather and the um, sheepskin or sheep's wool collar. So he just had the flight suit, not the bomber jacket. Moved on to painting his flight vest. So I went with a tan color. Most of the things I found, they were more of a tan color, not brown. Um, they didn't always match the caps that they wore. Most of the caps were a darker color, so I went with the lighter color on this. Now moving on to painting his cap, his flight cap. And I went with that darker color. I actually have, one of my paints is actually a leather brown color. Having to go a little bit more on the detail around his face so that I didn't get the brown all over the flesh tone that I had already used. Going under his chin now for his chin strap. Using a real fine tip brush here. And I started painting his the cups over his ears for his earphones. and decided to add a little bit more depth to his flight suit. So uh, there's a couple of spots on his, or his flight jacket, I mean, and so I painted those brown just to make it stand out a little bit. Now I'm putting a little color to his lips. So going real light on this, didn't want to make it look like this uh, pilot was wearing lipstick, just to give it a little bit of color and then kind of wiped off the brush and brushed it in so that it kind of was even. Here I'm going around the goggles, uh, and if you watched my other video, you saw that um, I found out that most of their goggles were not black. Sometimes they had a black strap, but most of the times they had a real, real light color, real light tan color, almost the same as their flight vests. So, but I left this in here showing you that you know we all make mistakes. We just have to sometimes go back and correct them. So. Originally I painted the goggles black and then did a silver on the lenses themselves. So here in a bit I'll go back and um, repaint those. Now I'm just painting some of the details on his flight vest and his life jacket that they wore. And I moved on to the eyes which is probably my biggest failure I guess you could say the hardest thing that it is for me to do uh, man I just don't 
have the detailing or the finite ability to get the eyes and the pupils right so they don't always look very well so as you can see here I had gone a little too heavy on the white of the eyes so I had to go back over with the flesh color here's a photo that I found on the internet and shows their goggles how they had some of them have the black strap some of them have tan so um, but the goggles themselves were almost always tan so I'm going back over and painting them. I like the um, tan color stripe or the strap instead of the black. I just think it makes it stand out much better. So I left the frames of the lenses since I did them silver to kind of mimic having a clear lens. I left the frames black but all the parts that should be leather I painted this tan. And then once I get through painting him completely, I'll put a black wash over everything, make it look like uh, he's not fresh in the morning with clean clothes. This is after after doing a long mission, he's coming back and he's going to look pretty weathered, pretty dirty. They got a lot of exhaust all over them. And, and of course, uh, these guys, man, they flew 12 to 16 hour missions and sometimes longer. It was pretty wild. So here's the finished product. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I have printed a couple of pilots on my resin printer and they come out a lot better. As you can see here, he still has a few build lines. The black wash caught some of those lines, but overall I think it came out pretty good. So be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and I'll see you next time.